Now very short answer type questions. First one, if E comma E1 are the eccentricities eccentricities of a hyperbola hyperbola and its conjugate conjugate hyperbola then prove that then prove that prove that 1 by e square plus 1 by e 1 square is equal to 1. So, this is very very important result to be remembered for competitive entrance examinations such as engineering entrance examination, even JE mains examination or advanced examination throughout national wide examination or state level examination. So, you had better to remember this one as a result for while solving problems also in examination also we can apply. Okay, now, let us do it here given that E and E 1 are the are the eccentricities eccentricities of s is equal to x square by a square plus y square by b square minus 1 is equal to 0 and conjugate hyperbola that is s dash x square by a square minus y square by b square plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So, we have eccentricity of the first hyperbola that is root of a square plus b square by a square. Since second one is the conjugate to the first one, here E 1 becomes E 1 becomes root of a square plus b square by b square. Instead of a square, we have to write b square only. Now, what we have to find out this one? So, take left hand side. What is the left hand side? 1 by e square plus 1 by e 1 square. So, 1 by e square means 1 by here a square plus b square by a square plus 1 by e 1 square means a square plus b square by b square. So, reciprocals you have to write. So, that means this can be written a square by a square plus b square plus b square by a square plus b square. Now, a square plus b square is the LCM. Am I correct? So, we get a square plus b square both numerator and denominator same it's cancel you get 1. So, therefore, if E and E 1 are the eccentricities of a hyperbola and its conjugate hyperbola, then we have the relation 1 by E square plus 1 by E 1 square is equal to 1. So, that has been proved. So, therefore, 1 by E square plus 1 by E 1 square is equal to 1. Second problem, we 
if the eccentricity if the eccentricity of a hyperbola of a hyperbola is 5 by 4 then find the eccentricity eccentricity of its conjugate conjugate hyperbola that means eccentricity of the hyperbola is given we are asked to find out the eccentricity of its conjugate hyperbola already we have discussed it in the first formula we formulated it what is the formula if e1 e sorry e e1 are the eccentricities of a hyperbola and its conjugate hyperbola respectively then we have 1 by e square plus 1 by e 1 square is equal to 1. Use that condition, we get the eccentricity of the conjugate hyperbola. Okay, let us do it. Given e is equal to 5 by 4, let e 1 be the eccentricity of conjugate hyperbola conjugate hyperbola so we have 1 by e square plus 1 by e1 square is equal to 1 now substituting 1 by 5 by 4 square plus 1 by e 1 square is equal to 1. 1 by 25 by 16 plus 1 by e 1 square is equal to 1. Only simplification part remains. Just carefully do the simplifications. So, 16 comes up. 16 by 25 plus 1 by e 1 square is equal to 1. Now, 1 by e 1 square is equal to 1 minus 16 by 25. Here, 25 is the LCM, 25 minus 16, this is 9 by 25. Okay. 1 by e 1 square is equal to 9 by 25 means, e 1 square is equal to reciprocal of 9 by 25. So, this can be written 25 by 9, e 1 is equal to root over 25 by 9 that is 5 by 3. Therefore, eccentricity of the conjugate hyperbola e 1 is equal to 5 by 3 that is our answer.